like that nigga. As you can see, they have an edge detector. That's the edges. And this little guy has an IR sensor on him. When he sees the other one, he speeds up to try to push him off the track. And he wasn't seeing him very well, so I added this reflector just to see if it would make a difference. It doesn't seem to uh, improve his chances any. In the uh, <laughs> I would have thought this guy would have done better in that one.
One of the cool things he did was the way he figured out how to mount these servos. So let me show you what I mean. So when you put this together, do not put these servo horns yet. Just leave them flailing around. So these will be flailing around. And then you upload a sketch that will put the servos in a 90 degree location like this. And then you put those servo horns in there. So I thought that was a pretty clever way to make sure that, that the servo angle set within the software is exactly matching what it looked like in real life. I thought it was a cool trick. I found the legs are too slippery, so I put a dab of hot glue at the tip of the legs. That seems to work well. I think it's so cool. I, I'm very happy how it turned out. I mean, you take a spool of plastic, an Arduino, and some servos, and we have a walking robot? That's just amazing. What do you think? Am I the only one who thinks that the walking 3D printed spider is really amazing? Well, leave your reaction on the comments and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.
Ce va semna? Mișcă pe toate acum. Se va da așa, se va da asta așa. 